my channel, it's Caitlin here and I am back! Well, I'm not really back. I have had videos going up but they have all been pre-filmed for the last month so I'm finally filming again which feels really really strange and it's super super warm outside today so I'm feeling very summery and I thought I would sit down and chat to you guys and do my summer makeup routine. This is what I go to on a daily basis if I want to do a full face of makeup Obviously in the summertime I don't always wear makeup because who always wants to wear a full face of makeup when it's roasting hot outside but when I do wear a full face of makeup this is where I go to 100% all the time my go to summer makeup so keep on watching if you want to know how to get this look. I am using natural light in this video because I kind of wanted to go a bit old school and it's super sunny outside so I wanted to use the natural light so I'm sorry if it kind of alters the colours a little bit or just changes things up, I don't know. I will not know until I start editing. Also, I just want to quickly announce because it's happening right now, from Friday to Monday, I'm hoping this video goes up on Saturday, Beauty Bay are doing a flash summer sale. They are doing 3 for 2 on a bunch of eyeshadows including Makeup Geek. They are doing 30% off liquid lipsticks um, which are including the Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. They have 30% off a bunch of palettes and they're also doing 3 for 2 on Morphe makeup brushes. So if you guys want to pick up some new makeup bits for your summer makeup routine then head over to Beauty Bay because they've got some discounts going on at the moment. Feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy these types of videos and if you're new feel free to subscribe to join my channel and yes. So to start off my makeup routine in the summer I firstly obviously have to moisturise my face. Obviously it's super important to moisturise your face all throughout the year but in summertime you want to make sure you're also protected against the sun so the one which I'm using throughout the summer at the moment is this one by Body Shop. This is the Drops of Youth Fresh Emulsion and it's got um, SPF 20 in it which is great because it protects you against the sun. Even though you've got makeup on you still have to have SPF on when it's sunny. So I've already applied this when I was getting ready this morning so I'm not going to apply it again but this is what I usually start off with on my face. Next up again I'm going in with some more Body Shop products. I am mixing together the Insta Glow CC Cream and also the Drops of Youth Holiday Glow Creator. The reason why I use this is because my face in the summer does not tan. Probably due to the fact that I always use a really good high SPF on my face so it never really gets a tan but I mean it means I don't get wrinkles when I'm older so I always use this on my face and mix it in with a CC cream or a moisturizer or a primer and it just means that my face matches the rest of my body and it's not so weird. So I just take the CC cream from the body shop, it's just a really nice kind of glowy base to put under your foundation and then I add a couple drops of this and then I just pop this on my face and as you guys can see it's a lot darker so it kind of tints my skin, evens it out. So now moving on to foundation, in the summertime if I do wear foundation, assuming that I'm going to be doing a full face today, I usually go to this foundation here. This is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation. This is great because it keeps your skin nice and matte and obviously in summertime it's a little bit warm. So definitely this foundation does do wonders with making sure your skin doesn't get too oily and greasy and sweaty. It's a little bit too light, I think. I don't really know. We will make do. In the wintertime, I usually stay away from this because it is quite mattifying, but in summertime, it's perfect for me. So for concealer, I'm going to be taking the Gossip Covered Concealer by Lottie. I love this concealer so much. It's like my all-time favourite Holy Grail concealer. Um, this is in the shade Shell, and I'm just going to pop this underneath my eyes and lighten my under eyes up a little bit. I'm kind of running out of this because I have used it so much. So I have to like properly squeeze. For powder I'm taking the MUA Pro Base Satin Finish Press Powder. This is just what I reach for on an everyday basis. It does a really good job, it's so so cheap so I just couldn't recommend it enough and I swear I've used it 
so many times in videos. Obviously my foundation has a matte finish so I don't really need too much powder but just enough so that it's not slipping about the place and especially my concealer as well. We need to set that in place. Then for bronzer, I'm just going to be taking the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer. Again, same with the powder. I always use this in videos. I'm sorry for the lack of variety, but I did say this was genuinely what I do on an everyday basis, so I've got to keep it truthful. So I just very lightly put this on my cheekbones. Also just pop this on my forehead as well. And then over the top of it, I'm going to be using the 17 Instant Glow Shimmer Brick. I'm going to be using the darker sections up here and just going over my bronzer to give it a little bit of a shimmery bronze look. Next up for blusher, I'm going to be using this super pretty blush from Ciate. This is in the shade Summer Love, which is very appropriate for this video, and it's just a super pretty peachy pinky shade. I'm just going to pop this on my cheeks. So finally to finish off the face I'm going to be doing highlight. So the lid has broken on my highlight because I mean I just love it so much and I clearly use it so much. It is by MUA. It's the Undress Your Skin Shimmering Highlighter and I don't actually know what shade this is in. I'm really really sorry. I will try find it and write it down below but it's just so well used that I actually cannot make out what it's called. But I love this one, it's like my favourite highlighter of all times. Get your hands on this if you don't already have it because it's honestly amazing. It just gives a really nice subtle, healthy, summer glow, it blends so amazingly, like honestly I just, I just can't. I actually hadn't used this for a while, like since last summer. And then I used it the other week and I just remembered how amazing it was. So I'm just popping this on my nose as well. And the cupid's bow area. And then we're done. Now for my eyebrows, I'm going to be using the Cabrow by Benefit. This is what I use when I go on nights out, but I love it so much that I have to use it during the daytime as well. But just not quite so intense as I would if I was doing like a full face heavy makeup. But I just love the shade, I love how easy it is to work with. And this is in the shade number three, if you guys are interested. Also, can I just say that this stuff lasts so well on your face. Your eyebrows will not fall off during the day no matter how sweaty you get and trust me, I've put it to the test. So if you have a problem with making your eyebrows stay, then make the switch to this. This is quite up close and personal. So when I do my eyes for a summer makeup look, I always reach for recently, oh my gosh, I can't recommend this enough, is the Blank Canvas Master Series 1 palette. Like, these shades are just so perfect. Honestly, this palette has like replaced all my all-time favourites and has definitely taken the number one spot for just now because I just love this palette so, so much. So to start off, I just take this shade here and just pop this all over my eyelid. It's not really got a colour, but it's just a really nice base to start off with. It's not too bright and white, so I just put this nice neutral shade over my lid. And the brush which I'm using is actually by Blank Canvas as well. It's the F11 brush and I really like it. It's the perfect size for just covering your lid with. Shade number two is going to be this shade here called Strut and it's just a lovely orangey brown warm shade for all over your eyelid. So I'm just blending that onto my eyelid as well. I think it just helps with making everything tie together. shade which I'm going to be using is this one on the end called Carmen. Again a really nice warm brown colour and the brush which I'm using is by Blank Canvas. This video is not sponsored by them, I'm sorry, it's just, I've just taken a liking to them recently and this is the E34 brush and it's just a nice colour for dark shadows, I don't know. So I just take this on this area of my eyeball 
as I said, I don't take too much at all, and I just bring this along round my crease as well. And then other side as well. So just popping that in my crease, bringing it round a little bit, and then in the outer corner as well. I'm also just going to take this small brush here and do my under eye part as well with those two brown shades which we just used. Um, pop that underneath. Then I'm going to be using the only shimmery shade in this palette which is the shade Goddess and it's such a pretty golden champagne-y shimmery shade and I'm going to be using this and I'm just going to take my finger and just pop this on my inner corner of my eye. This is literally what I do every day so I'm not going to lie to you guys, I just use my finger. And then to finish off my eyes I'm going to be curling them and then I'm going to apply some mascara and this one is the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara which is my all time favourite at the moment. And then finally, to finish off this look, because I'm kind of enjoying this angle at the moment, I can't be bothered changing it, I'm going to be finishing off this look with the Jeffree Star Liquid Velour Lipstick. And this is in the shade Chrysanthemum. So I'm going to be popping this on my lips to finish off this summery makeup look. This is the completed makeup look and my finished everyday summer makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so so much for watching and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye guys!